Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh, yeah, all of them. Ah. Uh... Hey, Matt! Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? Oh no. Late. The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! It was 600 Kelvin. Father! 600 and something father Kelvin. Me, child! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's uh, dog it. Okay, do this. Okay. Release the gas after that. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Okay, give me hints. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. You don't know what shock, shock. Electricity. No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. The pressure? Nice. All right, all right. If I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes... Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. Okay. All right. So far, so good. You're going to find out. You know who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Stoke fire. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? All right, we got this. Good job, Emmett. Thanks for helping out, buddy. Go feed the ducks, father. Oh, maybe your burning passion, father, but it is not mine. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Nice. Ah, uh, halfway there. Okay. All right, we got this, Emmett. The good work. Come on, buddy. You too, man. I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? Sunday. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Why are you always bellowing at me? What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hindquarters? I'm not 
not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. You're just pressuring me to be something I'm not. Spin. Bronze have been officers of the court. Spin. God's heavenly spark. What's spin? Oh. Was that turning the crank? What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? Nothing. I don't know what spin means. What's spin the code word for? You call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Father, why don't you ever listen to me? Sunday. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Is that the bladder? Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Pressure! You're a child. You don't know anything. Getting pretty vague pressure. there, Emmett. Sunday. What use is a microorganism for law? What? Bacteria, all right. All right. There is a a little better. Inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook father. You keep bellowing like that. How many times do I have to put myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Shake? Sprinkle the food? Maybe? Almost there. Sheesh. Uh, coming, father! I strongly object to the current of this conversation, father. Current electricity. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Yep. Must you always scatter a condescension my way? Scatter, sprinkle. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another mo- Turn the crank. Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. One great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Don't you release me from your unattainable expectations. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Man, Emmett. I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Good job, everyone. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... What? I did a good job. Come on, Emmett. Simadana. Eureka. No, Eureka. Let's fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and I can. I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for D.C. leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I- I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I-, I lied to you, but I-, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Aww. I'll get it back to you. Poor Emmett. And Emmett, you're going to be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. So does Doc Brown now have a memory of meeting Marty and and this all happening? I wonder. <laughs>